Hi guys, welcome back. Asonation Auto World here. So on the episode today, we want to talk about uh, something common, something people know of um, some specific car models. Overheating. Why does your car overheat? Why does your engine overheat? So first of all, we need to understand um, what is the normal operating temperature for an engine. Nowadays, for modern cars, uh, they operate at about uh, 90 degrees Celsius. That is optimum for engine uh, to be. So if your car has um, a temperature gauge fitted to it or a coolant temperature fitted to it that works together with a coolant temperature sensor, engine temperature sensor, you can always watch them. Uh, you don't want them to be going past 90 degrees. Uh, that would mean your car is overheating. So signs of an overheating car, number one, you will see the coolant temperature sensor or the engine temperature sensor going beyond 90 degrees and then you will know your car is having uh, heat problems. So the other one you will find when you open the bonnet you will find all the coolant pipes are very hard so if you just try to squeeze them they will be very hard meaning and they have accumulated a lot of pressure in them and therefore the car is overheating so the pipes are too hard they need to be soft if the car is normal they need to be hot and soft if they're hot and hard then we have a, a problem so you will also see mock or some moisture vapor coming out of your hood if at all we have a burst pipe or something or if just the temperature is too hot and then things are, are um, out of temperature zone in the bonnet then you'll start he seeing some uh, smoke or vapor uh, coming out of the bonnet you will also uh, notice your car starts to lose power if you are driving and then your temperature gauge goes uh, way beyond normal your car will also start losing power it will become weak and weak until you pull to the sides and some of these modern cars uh, when it uh, starts to overheat uh, the engine computer when it notices this it will just um, cut off uh, fuel supply or electricity and then the car will go off so after you've noticed your car is overheating uh, let's just look at what makes uh, a car to overheat number one uh, we will have if you have issues with your fan if you are your radiator fan is not working well let's say it has problems with um, uh, the fuse or the connectivity when the fan is not working for these modern cars uh, you will start having overheating issues number two if you have leakages in the coolant system so in the cooling system when you have either um, a burst pipe when you have a leaking seal or when you have a leaking gasket uh, that will also uh, cause your car to overheat yeah other than the seals and the leaking uh, your car will also start overheating if you have a failing water pump so a water pump is a little device fitted to your engine block that is um, driven either with um, power either elect electric water pump or just a mechanical electric pump uh, for these um, uh, most of the cars so it's a device fitted to your engine block that helps to circulate the coolant or water but mostly coolant uh, throughout the engine system so it is either driven by a belt or uh, driven by a little electric motor fitted to it so two ways with the uh, water pump so a water pump can fail due to old age or a water pump can fail due to uh, rust and corrosion uh, in it so we have little seals that are within the impellers of the water pump which can wear out also the impellers themselves uh, those are just little uh, fins on the turbine uh, which is called the impeller that can also rot away or break away and make your water pump uh, to fail so if there's not enough circulation of coolant or there isn't enough circulation of coolant at all in your engine system uh, this is where overheating also starts the other bit would be if these other pieces the leaking has happened or there's a failing um, water pump you may end up with the biggest problem of them all uh, a blown head gasket so you have your engine block and then you have the head gasket that comes in between the engine block and um, a cylinder head so when that one blows or when that one has issues so a coolant starts um, leaking through or seeping through and getting its way into the um, um, engine oil so there isn't enough uh, cooling going around not enough coolant is going around instead your car can also uh, start overheating for simple things like uh, the radiator cap so for those cars that still have the traditional radiator that has um, 
a cup where you open and refill with coolant if that cup is failing that cup is supposed to hold pressure in it and then at a certain temperature or a certain amount of pressure it has to release coolant back into the expansion tank and also let it in uh, when the temperatures or the pressure goes down so if that mechanism fails your car can also accumulate a lot of pressure accumulate a lot of air into the system and then end up having an airlock then it won't be working well for the cars that have a separate extant, uh, coolant expansion tank so if that coolant expansion tank fails also uh, that separate tank from the radiator that is connected to the radiator if that cup also fails then you start having issues with air lock into the system you need a lot of bleeding and so forth and then eventually overheating starts to kick in so things you want to do to avoid overheating uh, before you leave always uh, make sure you have no any leakages if there's a leakage um, anywhere around your car check make sure you don't have any worn out seals you don't have any worn out gaskets you don't have any leakages at all for the cases of a water pump there is no repair for a water pump you just replace they are normally cheap items to replace on these cars so to protect your car from overheating things you want to avoid is uh, or things you want to do uh, always check to make sure that you don't have any leakages uh, if your car is running low on coolant when you check and then you check the expansion tank or the expansion bottle is a bit low uh, do not just top up there and then wait for your car to cool down then you can uh, top up reason for that is when you open these expansion tanks or the radiator cap when the car is still hot there's still pressure uh, inside the system so the system is also pressurized so there's still pressure in in, in it so when you open these uh, cups when the car is still hot you will let in um, air and then when you close it back then you'll have the air trapped in then you'll have the airlock in inside your cooling system so coolant won't be flowing you may check that you have coolant but in real sense it's not flowing because of the um, airlock blockage so you also want to make sure that um, uh, your car is serviced uh, if your car has done over 100,000 kilometers uh, make sure that you start uh, looking at how to replace your um, water pump for the case of head gaskets also make sure that when this happens uh, the head gasket is taken out the cylinder head is cylinder head gasket is replaced so when the head gasket is out just don't mount it back if you had any overheating issues uh, take it to a machine shop make sure it is measured to make sure it is in the correct specs because what happens is if these cars overheat for too long modern cars that have uh, majorly aluminium um, blocks as well as aluminium cylinder heads uh, under a lot of heat they will undergo a lot of pressure then when they cool down they tend to warp so you will find they are not nice and level all through but they will have um, some spaces out of warping so it's either it will be ground back to position if it is still can be uh, salvaged if not then you will have to replace the entire cylinder head as well as the head gasket so that is what we had today um, for the episode today just to make sure that your car remains in tip-top condition and you don't have any overheating issues if you are new here please um, make sure to subscribe watch it uh, share it with your friends click on the bell icon to make sure you are notified anytime we do a new video cheers